Howdy, howdy, howdy. This is, uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cor Corina's Cool Creation. I'm Corina. like to do a post review of Snow Queen from Diamond Art Club. As you can see, she's just absolutely beautiful. She's got great colors to her. She shimmers and shines. Look at the bodice. Look at the bodice of her dress. It's just so pretty. I've got a loose diamond there. It just come off. One of the 5200s. I'll have to fix that when we get done. Put it right there. But I actually got her done in seven days. Uh, she was easy to do. She had a lot of color blocking going on. A matter of fact, the only confetti in the painting was the bodice of her dress. Um, and insomniacs has a tendency to get a lot done when they're not sleeping. <laughs> so she actually had some slimy glue what I call it. It's like when you put your pin down with your diamond and you keep going. <laughs> she had that up at the top over here and it went on for about a size, about the size of my hand spread out just about like that. Let me see. Yeah, about a hand length. It, you just put the diamond down and it just shot off there. So what I did is I just left it open for a few days and I worked on this side. I worked on it um, for like two days on this side. I went like halfway and I went down here to her chin and I went across for like two days. And then I went back to that corner and it had dried out enough to where it was so sticky it was pulling the glue out of my pen. I then struggled to get that section done because I dried it out too much. So just to let you know, if you come across the slimy part, just to leave it uncovered, you probably get away with a few hours, you know, maybe seven, eight hours, and then you can go back and it'll be fine. Um, if you leave it for more than a couple days, be ready for it to be super sticky. Um, that's not a bad thing. It just means your diamond's going to stay there forever and ever and ever. As long as you live and probably your children. <laughs> it was so sticky. Um, the colors were just gorgeous. I would have changed up the color of her bottom of her dress here. Um, although it, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I would kill to have a dress like this to where I could actually go somewhere nice to wear it, you know. Never happened, but, you know, you can always wish. Um, this color is a turquoise, which it's, it's in the blue family. It just really stands out in color. I wish they had put... Um, you know, because turquoise is a blue-green. And I don't know about y'all, but I see more green than I do blue. Now, it looks absolutely pretty. I just wish they would have stuck a different color blue in there that would have made the dress just pop that much more. But it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And just my preference of the turquoise. Maybe it's because I don't care for turquoise. I don't know. I bet you it's because I don't care for turquoise. But um, other than that minor problem with the glue, there wasn't any problems with this painting. Um, I come across the symbol. There's two symbols. One with the left corner blacked out. It's like a triangle in the corner on the left side and the right side. And they were so close together and they were so similar in color. They looked the same from 
a foot, foot and a half distance. I had to get right on the painting, right on the painting to get up there and to do them symbols. Um, like I said, they were so close together and they were both a light baby blue. It was hard to distinguish one from, from another. Um, it would have been okay if that had one of them, like uh, the background being a dark blue or dark, dark blue and the other one being a light blue. Um, I know people on rounds get worried about seeing the outline of the symbols. That does happen in some cases, but in a painting like this where 95% of it is different colors of blue, you would not have been able to tell any difference whether or not that symbol would have been darker blue or lighter blue. It wouldn't have shown through to where you could have noticed it because of the color of the painting. Um, but I struggled with that. Um, I Most of you that watch my videos know that I have super bad eyesight. So that could have been just my eyesight causing the problems. You might not have that problem at all. Um, if you have better eyesight, then I'm sure you won't struggle like I did on this. But she just sparkles and shines. Look at that sparkle. Look at that sparkle. Just absolutely vibrant colors. And this is going to look so good up on my wall. I'm going to hang her on my wall right now, just as she is. And then when my husband gets done <laughs> renovating my kitchen, then I'm going to have him start making frames for some of these. Underneath is her sister. So I'm starting her sister. I've already started it. I haven't got much done, but I have started it. Um, this is uh, one worth melting for by Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club. Of course, y'all know she's my favorite. I keep trying to get princesses and then I get sidetracked with another one. But that's my goal now is to start getting all her princesses together and doing them and have nothing but um, the Disney princesses on my wall for doing. Um, I'm sure most of y'all notice I do buy from other stores, but 99% of the paintings I do are from Diamond Art Club. A lot of people ask me, why do I only do Diamond Art Club? Well, I only do Diamond Art Club because of their perfection they put into their diamond paintings. Like I said, I, I do buy from other stores to unbox on the channel. If I come, I've done every moment. I've done, uh, I, I can't remember now, but I y'all can see the background of my walls. They're covered with diamond paintings and they're not all diamond art club. Like I said, I said 99%, but probably 97% of what I've done up to this point in the last, oh, I'm coming up on a year anniversary. Um, and I just find so much time and effort goes into these paintings. Why put an effort in to a painting that doesn't have the quality as Diamond Art Club? I prefer to do the best that's out there. And when I find something that's just as good or better than I'm an art club, then I'll try it. Um, I'm not saying I'm totally against it. I'm not. Um, I do a lot of partials that are from different companies. I do a lot of smaller paintings. 30 by 40s um, is my favorite, but it's finding a scenery or an animal, because I'm real big on animals, um, that'll fit in that 30 by 40 frame um, and look good. 
because I'm not going to do something that doesn't look good. And that's where I find my problem is when I get these paintings home that I unbox, I'm not liking the quality of them. So if I don't like the quality, why would I want to put in my time and my effort to do these pictures? So that's one reason why I do so many diamond art clubs. And, you know, there's haters out there, you know, I, I really, and I don't want this to sound harsh, but I don't care. It's my time. I'm going to spend it doing what I love and want to do, and that's Diamond Art Club. So here you go. Here's a week worth of Diamond Art Club. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Um, she'll look excellent on my wall. That's my review for today. I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't so you can get notifications of future videos. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.